broadcasting from Mabula, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTL Editorial News, July 15, 2009. The news for you to keep your muse on YouTube straight from the heart. Headlines Sonia Sotomayor uh, confirmation hearing is still going on. She being grilled this time for be, for saying uh, the remark of Rise Latina. Well, of course, um, in a political correct society in America, we have to be careful with our words. Wise Latina, um, good old country boy, and then you know you'll be offending the Senator Allen section in Alabama, or uh, that good boy there, uh, that'd be uh, Southern blacks, or in uh, Clarence Thomas case, uh, anything goes. Um, just give him a coke and a smile, huh? Yeah. But anyway, uh, our words are just so powerful that it could be so sensitive to others. And so, uh, I guess we have to be very, very careful with what we say. Because uh, hopefully it won't cost her a job as uh, one of the uh, Supreme Court judge, which it should be no problem. But uh, sensitivity is so much in America these days. Uh, maybe we need to get with Al Franklin so he could get with uh, Remember Saturday Night Live when he got into uh, uh, Smiley, where he looked in the mirror and said, I'm good looking and doggone it, people like me. But anyway, as we move on, Obama visited the community colleges in Michigan. Of course, uh, he's given out um, $12 million for it. And of course, um, I wish they would have done that for me, for ITT, because I'm still paying for it through the USA Educational Loan Services, which henchmen are the General Revenue Corporation, which is in uh, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, they're all over the Midwest. I guess they're good for one thing, trying to get your money from your school loan, knowing that you don't work anymore from uh, the graduation. <sighs> so that's why you had to keep on with ITT telling them, hey, I need a job so I can pay off your school loan. If not, hey, I'm not going to be harassed. I remember they showed a film at uh, ITT about those who didn't pay their uh, school loan. What would happen? That, that's pitiful. They need to give solid jobs and make good money. That's what my instructors were telling me. Make good money on that. So moving on, uh, the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton um, want to have talks with Iran. They say the talks are, are pretty much open depending on uh, if they cut down on the nuclear missiles, which would be a fat chance. I would have just see Hillary Clinton versus President Hajani in a wrestling match, WWE style, or go into UFC and they just get it on. Like uh, Judge Mill Lane would say, get it on. And do that because they both tough. Hey, how Johnny should, should know that uh, Hillary is tough. You don't believe me? Ask Bill Clinton. That's why he's uh, sleeping alone most nights now. Or uh, reportedly. But anyway, uh, that's what it is. Stay tuned to see if uh, how Johnny will uh, listen to her. Because she's tough. Anyway, another plane crash. This time in northern Iran. That's the third, uh, reportedly, of a major plane crash. This time it took a life of 168 passengers. And uh, the late breaking news that they re uh, received back the, the parts of the plane crash of Air France. 
to France. So these uh, old planes need to be more uh, maintenance to be done on them, periodically checked. So it, could, uh, so it won't occur like that again, hopefully. But anyway, uh, moving on, the war in Afghanistan and Gordon and Brown is still trying to justify it, trying to explain. You can't, as I said, you can't explain about war. The gloves are off and it's just on. And, and uh, there's going to be casualties. Yes, there was eight for uh, British, but you know, in uh, Iraq, there was uh, over 4,000 for Americans. And still this day, uh, George W. Bush had to still explain it, and he's so frustrated about it. At least Gordon Brown, you know how to handle it. Uh, George W. Bush is all frustrated, like, oh, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's what it is about war. I'm so frustrated. Dick Cheney, you take over. And don't, don't let Dick Cheney try to talk. He said, I'm not going to tell you no information. Hey, it's none of your business, and you go home. That's it. Good night. Moving on, of course, Madoc sentenced today in minimum federal prison. You know, the uh, ripoff artist who's uh, scammed a lot of people for millions of dollars of their investments. And, uh, and still, uh, the victims are still hurt. They only going to get half a million, only 10,000 of them. Well, I told you in my earlier videos that that is not good enough. What he needs to do is work three jobs, three full-time jobs, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That means start off with, uh, I guess, as a garbage can collector or a custodian, uh, pick up trash. And then after that, go on and work at McDonald's and uh, work on the fries and uh, hamburgers. And then after that, uh, work as a security guard just walk around the building checking property making sure nothing gets stolen well I, well somebody got to keep an eye on him he might want to take something and try to pawn it to try to pay off the, uh, some debts but anyway do that and then the next day work at Walmart as a greeter so he could greet the customers and have his face be slapped be spit on and then have the kids kick him in the knees Say, I hate you. You took money from my daddy and my mama. The life savings. They was going to do that to send me to school. You crook. So, Mayda, um, jail sentence is too easy for you. You need to work every day. Work to the sweat of your brow till you drop dead. And then after that, have your life savings and your uh, life insurance given to the rest of the victims. So this is LTL Editorial News, July 15, 2009, Sunny Off.